So with the advancement of ChatGPT and AI, specifically around content and writing, most everybody is going to, or already is, using it for their resume, cover letters, updating their LinkedIn profile, et cetera. That's going to increase. Everybody, I think, it feels like everybody on the planet already is throwing stuff into chat GPT to either check for grammar or spelling or rewrite it or tweak it or make it sound different or whatever. Everybody's going to be doing that for their resumes. So if, my question is this, if every resume is perfect, which if you think about it with the advancement of AI and chat GPT, your resume should be perfect. Okay. It should be ultimate premium if you're using the AI tools properly. So let's just assume for a minute that every resume is perfect. Now, in the old days, last year, <laughs> us recruiters, you know, we would take into consideration, you know, grammar or punctuation or mistakes on resumes or resumes maybe weren't formatted properly, et cetera. So that was a, uh, a way to weed out candidates. Employers do the same thing. Well, that step, okay, that, that weed out stage should change, will change, because you're going to have AI tools to create the perfect document or the perfect paper, or you should anyway. So we kind of lose that, that speed bump, if you will, to weed out candidates. So what's the real purpose of my uh, post or my, my podcast episode here? It's this. If, in fact... On paper, things are equalized. The difference maker will be your personality, your style, your ability to communicate, your EQ, okay? Your emotional intelligence. Now, that's always been a major factor for hiring, right? But my point is, I think it becomes even more important. It becomes even more of an emphasis on hiring. Because here's an in the old days, sometimes assholes could get work because they were super smart, okay? And they knew certain things that other people didn't know. Well, if ChatGPT and AI are the are level the playing field when it comes to IQ, okay, let's and it already is. Okay, all you gotta be able to do is ask the right question. If ChatGPT levels the playing field with writing skills and IQ and smarts and knowing things, then the people that have the high EQ and the best people skills, they are the ones that stay employed, get promotions, et cetera. And the super smart assholes go away professionally. <laughs> so, so if you used to be one of those guys, if you used to be like, oh, I'm super smart and People have to hire me and pay me millions of dollars because I know things that they don't know. and I can be a dick to everybody. Yeah. Those days are coming to an end soon, quickly, with the advancement of AI. People skills will be all the rage, even more than it ever has been before. Keep that in mind. Sharpen up your people skills, your communication skills. And by the way, speaking of communication skills, try to lift your head out of your phone and talk to human beings. That'll help. And there is your Rider Flex tip of the day.